Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you Wednesday, July the 29th, the year's 2020. Let's talk trading. Secrets of Scalping 5. Um, I'm getting more emails and, and social media replies, and it seems like um, there's a slight or maybe a great disconnect so we're going to get into that but i just want you to remember these videos are for educational purposes only your results may differ from mine trading is extremely risky you can lose all of your money if you need trading investment or financial advice seek the advice of an accredited financial professional now the secret is or or, or another secret of scalping is that you really have to practice um people are asking about you know about the exits well i did the video on the exit playbook i mean it, the exit playbook is basically a pip by pip map what you do when you find yourself in that situation and then as i said sometimes there's markets move like they normally do Sometimes they could be really slow. Sometimes they could be really fast. And I can tell you what I do, but you're going to have to practice it. Because if you hesitate just for a second, you might miss your opportunity. And it just comes to practice. You know, I've talked about baking cakes. There's a recipe. Just like trading, there's a recipe. My methods are basically recipes. You know, you do this, you do this, you do this, and this happens. But there's a difference. Trading is speculation. I can't guarantee the outcome. I can't. Nobody can, because if they could, the market would cease to exist. So I think that's the secret that you have to realize that your results are not guaranteed. And so many traders will try something for a couple of days. Oh, that doesn't work, so I got to do something else. Um, you would have never long learned how to walk if uh, you gave up after the first couple of days. I mean, that's why I tell people to, you, you got to do a hundred trades before you even have enough data to even have a clue whether or not something works. I mean, if you go out and you lose the first five or ten times in a row, then either A, you've got really bad luck, or B, you're an idiot, as I forget who says that. Um, but um, really, I think was that Dragon? Um, I can't remember who said that now. But they're right, if because it, it's either bad luck or you're just doing something wrong. Now, just like some people can't bake, you, you can give them the recipe. They're they're just not good at it, you know. But this is a skill. It's something that you have to learn, and you learn by doing by practice I it doesn't matter what book what video what seminar you could sit right next to me and I could show you this but until you do it yourself it's not going to work and in fact I got a little I want you to try an experiment your next trading session I want you to use basically a blank chart no indicators at all I don't want you and when and all I want you to do is think of it as a game and do it for a dime a pip. I mean, and, and just try it 10 times during, during your trading session. Put it on a one minute chart or five minute, whatever you prefer. And all I want you to do is either make three pips or lose three pips. OK, so if price goes up three pips. And you were long you take it if price goes up three pips and you were short you're out because what i want you to do is think of it as a video game all you're trying to do is is win some pips you're, you're not worried about support resistance supply demand midpoints lows highs all i want you to do is if you can look at the market determine look at your chart determine which way price is moving and capture three pips without regards to anything else because maybe if you turn off all that other stuff 
you might start to to understand you might get a hint you might go oh i get it i don't know but it, it's an idea that came to me and i thought yeah why try it because you know i i, I show people you know i've been showing you guys you, you fellow traders you know this chart here and how we built it and we've added the semaphore we've added the mid dots we've added the inside bars but what if you just took away all of that just used a blank chart and just watch price and see if you could guess see if you could determine which way it's going i mean and maybe you'll see something like maybe you go you wait to hear oh i think it's going down and all of a sudden it's just like whoa um i didn't get three pips and it went against me or maybe you go hmm here's that turn trade thing or here it went one way now it's going the other way let's see if it keeps going the other way or it's like or maybe hey this is going i've got one two three four five six seven in a row maybe it'll go the other way and you and you can just see it or it's like or hey look at this it it hit here once hit here twice maybe on the third time it'll keep going and just try it and just see if you can if you can take three pips and if you don't you lose three pips so if you're trading what a dime a pip we're talking 10 times 30 at the worst case you lose 10 times in a row you lose three bucks is it worth three bucks to you to find out if you can do it I think it should be and the other thing is is that trading is very personal I can't tell you where your stop should be you have to determine that I I, I, I know you guys have seen these charts before right you've seen this over and over you have to determine what your risk is i can't determine it for you i can make a suggestion but you might not be comfortable with it you might have a thousand dollar account and i said yeah risk 50 bucks each trade five percent you go oh, i can't risk that much well you asked me so you determine it it's not that difficult it's a simple equation right it's how much are you willing to lose per trade of your portfolio so if you have a hundred dollar portfolio you're willing to lose five dollars a trade two dollars a trade you have to determine that and as far as which method try no method just look at the blank chart and see if you can guess right who knows maybe you're really good at guessing and that's how you should trade as opposed to putting all these lines whether they're horizontal or squiggly or angled or all these dots and diamonds and stuff. Maybe if you just look at the chart, maybe it works for you in the one minute. Maybe it works for you in the five minute. Maybe it works for you in the one hour. I don't know. You have to figure out what works for you. I can't tell you. I know what works for me, but what works for me may or may not work for you. Okay, let's run through some charts here since we've been talking. Okay, all the gaps have filled. You can see here we're 16 pips off the weekly high. Now remember, <clears throat> this is Wednesday. Right? It's Wednesday. And usually, Wednesday, Thursday, a lot of times, price will make the high of the week and then return so right now we're in that weekly rat zone we might even be in the monthly rat zone let me switch over here real quick here to the monthly we're in the weekly monthly and daily upper rat zone red rat zone so price could come out of there i'm not saying it will i don't know i just know usually when it moves out of that zone, it's uh, 
usually pretty significant. You could maybe be looking at a hundred pip or more trade there, or it could continue to make new highs. I don't know. If I did, the market would cease to exist. Okay. Yesterday, you see here, we started within the opening range for the week and price popped out. So we only have what? Uh, a couple trading days left in the month here. Tomorrow and the next day. So we'll see if price wants to keep going up or if it wants to reverse. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine green days in a row. Price is closing in on that yearly open. 266 pips below it. And you can see here price broke out of that level. You see it broke out of this level. Now it's breaking out of this level. So what do we have left? That's looking at the whole year. Inside bar, we left that a long time ago. Once again, showing the strength of these inside bar breaks. We had the weekly, the monthly, and the daily was way back here. But once again, just you could have ridden that for over 300 pips. That's how you take those long rides. Personally, I there's too much, you know, swings intraday for me to watch, you know, to give back a hundred pips profit thinking it's going to go up enough, you know, that hundred again, plus another hundred. Okay. For the range for the day, only three pairs over a hundred, slightly anemic trading out there. Okay. We missed a pivot again. I think that's, is that three days in a row? Red rats. I've talked about you guys get ready to feast. You know, that gives me an idea here. I should put in, um, something about monthly in the monthly rat zone in the weekly rat zone i might make an update to that indicator make it easy to see okay so we're missing those pivot there's a weekly pivot we haven't hit so daily pivot got hit yesterday but the day before no today no came close but no cigar on the weekly, we missed that pivot. Never even came close. Huge miss. The wick zone, in and out once again. You see here when it made that high and then it came back, and then now it's coming back the other way. I don't like to, to, to ride this profit. I like to take my profit off the table. And back to the one minute chart, you can see here we had a inside bar there, went to the downside, now went to the upside. You had the three ball, pull back to the one ball, open above. You could have popped in, maybe taken three pips on the Harry Hindsight trade, but you know, we can wait for it to happen again and, and do it live. And the uh, simple yet profitable, if you make it profitable, horizontal line trades here using the H1 candle color, space 10 pips apart. I think we had a high of uh, 82, so that was worth a couple of pips once again. So there's so many ways to make pips but you know some people say is that profitable what's the most profitable i have to tell you it's not the system it's you it's you as a trader you got to practice you know that's like saying this pool cue is no good or this baseball bat's no good or this guitar sucks you put it in one player's hands and it, they do well with it somebody else it they don't and that just leads you to understand one thing. It's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks. And if you're new here, please click subscribe. Everybody, please click like. I wanna see if we can push these uh, videos up to a thousand views per day.
The Rumpled One, signing out.